Welcome back for the first time to 100 Days Hardcore Fails. These are my attempts at completing a 100 Days Challenge, which all end horribly. If you get bored, please leave it running in the background. It helps me out a ton and helps get that watch time in to get monetized. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Day 1. I spawned in next to an ocean monument and a dark forest. Then like any normal day, I started getting some basic tools. After that, I went exploring a nearby cave for some juicy loot. There was some coal right near the entrance, which was a good sign, so I went even deeper. There was nothing, so I left. There was a juicy looking pig though. There's no one around. No one will know what I did. There was more iron scattered on the surface, so I ran around scavenging everything I could find. Using the iron I found, I made myself an iron pick and shield, which is the most important item in hardcore. Then I cleaned up camp and left on a little boat ride. I went straight for the monument, thinking I could take it head on, but they were already targeting me, so I ran away. I also found this ruined thing. I don't know if anyone actually knows what it's called, but hey, I got a treasure map at least. When I turned around, there was a drowned throwing his trident at me. <coughs> Thankfully, I made a shield earlier, but I'd be dead already. Then I just sat and watched as the sun went down on my first day in hardcore Minecraft. But the loot called me, so I continued in search of that very treasure. On the way, I found another monument, and I made sure to steer clear. I finally got there and used F3 and G trick to find it. I did it totally wrong, but found it on my second try. And inside was all the juicy loot I've been dreaming of. Except diamonds. Diamonds would have been nice. But unfortunately, this was where things all went downhill. As I tried to craft some bread, I got ambushed by a skeleton. And I didn't know this, but skeletons can do four hearts of damage in hardcore. I just panicked, so I didn't last much longer after that. Day one, again. I had a pretty good spawn in the middle of a forest surrounded by animals. Did all the basics again and grabbed a little snack for the road. Then I went on an absolute savage rampage, killing pretty much every animal I saw. <laughs> I went exploring and found a shipwreck with some pretty sick threads. I look pretty fly in these new sea pants if I do say so myself. I also got some suspicious stew, which hurt more than helped. By now it was getting pretty dark, so I crafted a bed, but I didn't go to bed yet because I wanted skeletons to spawn so I could get a new puppy. But after last time's encounter with a skeleton, I was kinda scared. This time instead of fighting one skeleton with a shield, I rushed towards four without a shield. And that went about as well as you'd expect it to. I just came home and went to bed. And when I woke up, two skeletons were fighting, like me and my brother over the Xbox. I scooped up their bones and found my friend again. and named him Jerome. I tried to give him a friend, but it's fine, you know. I didn't want to be his friend either. I was wandering around when I found this cave. And of course, I had to look inside. Because the loot calls me. But this was a bad idea, because I got instantly clapped by a zombie. But don't worry, I clapped his cheeks harder. Out of nowhere, I got sniped, and I could tell this was the beginning of the end. I turned around and there were two snipers pointing directly at me, one fully kitted out. I forgot to make a shield, so I didn't last much longer after that. Day 1. This world I actually survived in for quite a while, and actually thought I'd make the full 100 days. Again, just like any normal start, get wood, craft a crafting table, make basic tools, We've all done that a million times. Then I dove right into the caves to find a single piece of iron. Oh, okay, thanks Notch. I took out my anger on the locals. They're no longer with us. I looked around and found another cave that was thankfully much juicier in the loot, but I was still a little disappointed. I then made a shield and an iron pick and headed out into the real world, but I just couldn't resist looking in one more cave. I didn't find much, just more scary zombies. Now I'm gonna have nightmares. Woke up feeling adventurous, so I headed out into the frozen tundra. Ooh, spruce! What a pretty wood you are! Now let me kill you and use you for parts! I wandered around for a bit, cutting down trees, but finally found a place to set up a house. Day 3! Continued terraforming the area more. There was this frozen lake thing in the middle of my land that I had to cover up. But then I realized it's actually a whole underground cave system with iron and coal and all the juicy loot I could ask for. I guess you can stay for now, Frozen Hair. 
Actually, never mind. You're ugly. So I'll just cover you up. Right as I finished putting up the frozen hole, it got dark, and I really don't want the skeletons coming out again. So I went to sleep. Day 4. Expanded my camp a little and dumped all my junk in a chest. Then got to the morning chores of planting trees and organizing my chest. When I realized, I haven't been wearing my shield this whole time. Then I got this amazing idea of building an ice boat course, which will never actually happen, because remember, this is my failed attempts. Dang, look at my drifts! Sign me up for Tokyo Drift! Oh, never mind, we're home. I was getting kind of low on iron, so I decided to go mining, and I ran straight into the frozen hole. I finally found some open cave and grabbed a decent bit of loot, but I got scared of the mobs and went back to the surface. It was already dark and monsters were spawning on my lawn. They took care of themselves. Day 5. This is a big day because I finally start to build my own house that I'll sleep in only twice. Yeah, I get to sleep in it like twice before I die. But anyway, with no plan in mind, I was so excited to get building and I probably change every part of the house at least three times because I'm just that indecisive. I tried to go for an A-frame cabin kind of vibe, but I threw it out the window almost immediately. And the sun's already setting and I've only finished, quote unquote, finished the front. Nice. Day 6. Continued tinkering with the front of the house, trying to make it look better. I tried both stripped and unstripped spruce logs, and I think I like the stripped ones for more. For now, I started adding windows and even added this little back porch thing that is floating over the frozen hole. Day 7. Woke up and I was running out of spruce, so I chopped some. Wanna see? It was riveting. Then I realized this is way too inefficient, so I struck four saplings together over my frozen lake to make a big spruce tree. I also realized that I was going to eventually run out of food, so I made a little 4x3 farm that will totally keep me from starving. I actually made it as a test to see if the water will freeze, and it didn't. I'd only started working on the house again when it started to get dark, and I didn't want any more creepers to be on my lawn, so I went to bed. Day 8. I started working on my second floor this morning, but I had no idea how long this day would go for. I spent 80% of it just playing around with different wood types, stripped and unstripped, and even totally different designs. But right as I got to the roof, it became dark again. Day 9. I tried to go with an oak and spruce roof, but that just looked absolutely horrid. So I tore the whole thing down and tried again. I went with an all spruce approach and changed the layout a little bit, and it looks a hundred times better. So I finished up with the front, then I went around the sides. I realized that it's one block off, which was an easy fix. But I'm glad I caught it now. Day 10. I started the day off by destroying more of the natural habitat. Ah, industrialization. Then I finished off the second story and wanted a deck that overlooked the rest of the natural beauty that I hadn't already destroyed. It was pretty easy, just some half slabs, nothing fancy for now though. Day 11. I realized my house from the side looks absolutely disgusting, but I couldn't worry about that now. I have to finish my second story. I made a little frame for the porch and decided just to leave it open so I could take in all the scenery but also get frostbite every night from the wind. I finished the day off by crafting some dinner and taking in the sunset. Day 12. I put up some railings on my deck because it was way too unsafe. I could fall off and lose half a heart if I'm not careful. I finally decided to do something about that ugly siding so I cut out some windows and put in some planters. As I watched the sunset, I ate some newly crafted rations. Day 13. The house is actually coming together, but there's still so much to be done before it's finished. I've decided to add a third floor to the house because it's looking really boxy and weird right now. But as I was going through some of the floor designs, it started snowing for the first time. I was so excited that I worked through the night and decided on a roof design and almost finished. Day 14. I took out all the mobs that were hiding under my roof, and that's when I realized it was a really bad idea working through the night. But it was starting to look really good, so I was happy. And isn't that all that really matters? As long as you can live your life and be happy, and at the end of the day, be able to look back and say, hey, I had a pretty good life. Isn't that all that really matters? Anyways, I finished off the roof and added some design to pretty it up. And that was actually the first night that I slept in my brand new house. Day 15. Today was another one of those days where I just tried different designs and color patterns, which I really should have done 10 days ago. 
but whatever, it's fine now. Also shoveled out all the snow for my house from the snowstorm a few days ago. Day 16, I started off today by cleaning up the frozen river and getting rid of all those little islands poking out. This actually took most of the day, sadly. I spent way too much time working on this. I also smashed out all the windows and changed them into panes instead of whole blocks, which again, I should have done with at the beginning. But little did I know, this sunset is actually the last sunset I'd ever see in this world, because tomorrow, I'm dying. Day 17, my last day here. I finally finished blowing out all those windows and replacing them with panes. But of course, I just had to keep tearing down and rebuilding my house, even until the last day. But anyways, let's keep going. I was running low on iron, so I went back down to the frozen hole and pretty much instantly started finding absolutely nothing. So I started going deeper to try and find more juicy loot. When I started going deeper into new caves, I started finding a ton of iron and coal, but I was greedy and I wanted those juicy diamonds. So of course I had to go deeper and I found diamonds. It was only one, but hey, it's still diamonds, but I still wanted more. I don't know what made me go down into this pain hole, but it was the worst decision of my life. I got too greedy and I'll let it speak for itself. It was the skeleton again. I don't know, I just saw all those mobs and just freaked out. If you would like to see a full 100 days hardcore video, leave a like and comment because this probably won't get many views and this took way too much time. This probably took three to four days to record, edit, everything, so, and I won't do it if you guys won't watch. But Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.